Grace and Matthew met when she was finishing her second year at university, and he had just graduated. The relationship began to grow quickly, as Matthew became seriously interested in Grace. Soon he proposed to her. The girl did not hesitate long, and shortly they were married. Right after the wedding, the young family started to live in Grace's apartment, which she had inherited from her grandmother. Grace's sister Helen didn't like Matthew at first sight. She tried to dissuade Grace from making a rash move, but when Helen realized it was pointless, she backed off. And so today was a special day for Grace. Exactly five years ago, she had become the wife of the most amazing man in the world. At least Grace sincerely thought so. Matthew was handsome and smart. In addition, he was making good money at a consulting company. When the workday was over, the woman hurried to the best candy store in the city to buy a delicious dessert. Then she stopped at a store for champagne and hurried home in time to organize a romantic dinner for her beloved. After she finished serving the table, Grace began to dress up. She put on a new dress that she had bought especially for this occasion, did her evening makeup and styled her hair. As she was finishing the last few preparations, she heard her husband enter the apartment. Grace was already anticipating how nice and pleasant they were going to celebrate their wedding day. But Matthew had other things on his mind. He didn't even think about the big day. And when he looked at Grace, he just thought she was going to a party with her friends or her sister. Grace disappointedly explained that today was their wedding anniversary, and she was expecting flowers from him. In response, Matthew quietly said that they needed to have a serious talk. Grace knew that this phrase did not bode well and became seriously worried. In the meantime, Matthew said in a casual tone that he had filed for divorce and had come to get his belongings. Grace stood there in shock and didn't understand what he was saying, since today was their wedding anniversary. She tried to take his hand, but he yanked her away and told her rudely that he didn't love her anymore and didn't want to live with her, so there was no need to make a scene, he had already made up his mind, and it wouldn't change anything. Besides, he wants a wife who is gentle and beautiful, self-sufficient and have her own interests. And Grace didn't live up to his expectations, she was like a clerical mouse who was about to get moldy in her law office. Grace froze in resentment and watched helplessly as Matthew packed his things. She thought it was just a nightmare, but a loud bang on the door made her wake up and the woman sobbed. A few hours passed and in the middle of a sleepless night, Grace had a plan. She decided to follow Matthew to find out whom he left her for. Two weeks later, Grace received the divorce papers. The bastard seemed to have prepared for it long and carefully. But Grace was still determined to follow him up and get back at him. One day, she approached his office shortly before the end of the workday. At the appointed time, he came out with a pretty blonde, and they were laughing merrily. Grace became excited, but she fought the courage to follow them, trying to remain inconspicuous. They drove into the suburbs, where there were expensive houses. As they approached one of the houses, Matthew and the blonde drove inside, and the automatic gate closed behind them. Grace got out of the car and looked around the villa. At that moment, a security guard came out to meet her and asked if she was here for a job interview. Grace was not confused and said yes. Then the guard suggested that she come back tomorrow because the landlady was busy today. Grace nodded politely and headed for her car. The next day, the young woman arrived for the interview. Entering the living room, Grace was struck by its luxury. The landlady invited Grace into the study and followed her in. Matthew's new sweetheart asked Grace for a long time about her education and what made her look for a job as a housekeeper. The blonde's gaze was unpleasant and seemed to pierce through Grace, but she confidently said her prepared answer that she wanted a job with accommodation and in a quiet atmosphere. Anyway, the landlady agreed to take Grace on a trial period, because she urgently needed a housekeeper to replace her previous one, who had been fired for theft. Soon Grace became acquainted with the staff and began working. She was assigned a maid's room and told not to show her face after 6 o'clock in the evening. The first evening, she watched sneakily Matthew spend time with his new girlfriend. After watching the couple for a few days, Grace realized that Matthew was in this relationship because of self-interest. The blonde had recently lost her father, who ran a huge company, and now everything had passed into her hands. Grace realized that Matthew must have hoped to get a high position in that company, and maybe even to lead it. A few days later, Grace was cleaning Matthew's office and saw that he had left his laptop. Without thinking too much, she decided to try to find something important on it. 
A law degree and work experience helped her to examine several documents, and she realized that Matthew was getting ready to rob his girlfriend of her money. A large sum was already in his account and he was preparing to transfer it to his account at an offshore bank. Checking the password, Grace rejoiced, here was the moment of retribution, the combination of numbers was his date of birth. Grace quickly transferred almost all the money to one of the charitable foundations. After that, the woman wrote a note to the owner of the house, saying that she didn't like this job, and sometimes it's worth thinking hard about whom a woman can and who she shouldn't date. After taking off her uniform, the woman proudly walked out the gate and drove home. Six months later, she sold her apartment and bought a small house by the sea. She no longer was remembering Matthew and was sure that the best would still be ahead of her.